Okay, let's do a quick example. Let's look at the position of an object in motion given by the vector function r of t equals first component t to the fourth, second component 6 to the t. We'll find the position, velocity, speed, and acceleration when t equals 2. So um, we could have, again, just said, you know, just trying to do this over and over, sorry to do this, connect vector functions and parameterizations. We could have said that a bug was moving in the plane according to the parameterization x equals t to the fourth and y equals 6 to the t. So position at time t equals 2, well, just go to the vector function and plug in 2 for the t's. Great. So um, if we just pass back and forth between the vector and the point, the object, the bug, whatever, will be located at the point 16, 36. Let's look at the velocity. So back to the original vector function stated on in the first line of the slide. Um, take the derivative of the first component using the power rule. Take the derivative of 6 to the t using the exponential derivative rule. So you have 6 to the t times ln of 6. Um, okay, there's the velocity... Um, it's a it's a it's a vector function, um, and this is in its function format. Now that we've taken the derivative, we need to plug in t equals two. All right, so here it is. I didn't bother simplifying. Who who really wants me to write six squared equals thirty six anyway? Okay, there it is. Um, let's also compute the speed. We just need the magnitude of this vector, right? So at time two, we have this constant vector. There's no t's in it. You just compute the magnitude. Again, out of laziness and to make it easier to see what's going on, I just literally plugged into the magnitude formula and did not bother simplifying. Now let's talk about the acceleration. So take a step back and go to the velocity vector function. Take another derivative. Hope that looks all right, right? Another power rule application. Here, just keep in mind, um, this ln of 6 is a constant, so that's why one of these is copied, and then another ln of 6 pops out from taking a derivative. That's why this says ln of 6 quantity squared. Okay, that's the acceleration function. Now we just need the acceleration at time t equals 2. And there it is. Okay, so I hope that question didn't look too bad. Let's do another one. Um, this is just more than anything my excuse to review some derivative rules, some more of them. Uh, so let's say r of t gives, uh, given this way, t cubed times e to the t uh, times i, the i vector, plus uh, arctangent of t times the j vector, plus ln of t times the k vector. Let's say that gives position, find the velocity. Here, um, again, I'm using this as an excuse to play with uh, this ijk notation instead of the angle bracket notation. Um, the velocity vector, it should look like this. The first term, I'll just say uh, you need the product rule. And remember that e to the t is its own derivative. For the second term, um, the derivative of our tangent is 1 over 1 plus t squared. Typically, we think of this a lot in going backwards, right? When you anti-differentiate 1 over 1 plus t squared, you get, you get the arctangent function. Um, and then ln of t differentiates to 1 over t. So it was just an excuse to practice some of this stuff. Um, let's do another one, right? So here's, here's another vector function. This is really uh, to find the velocity. It's just an excuse to, to, to rehearse three more, to review three more derivatives. That's all this is. Okay, so for instance, um, let's see, log, log base 2 of t differentiates to 1 over uh, t times ln of 2. Um, the arc sine function differentiates to 1 over root 1 minus t squared. And then here, um, lots of things are going on. I guess you're going to need the chain rule, yeah? So um, let's see, uh, outside, let's see, e, yeah. So 3 to the tangent of t times ln of 3. So this is composing... Um, the derivative of the outside with the original inside undifferentiated, and then we finally multiply by the derivative of the inside function. That's why the secant squared of t appears. 